Fucking crazy, dude. That's insane. Dude, it's like, yeah, I saw like a barrel, and then five minutes later, it was up. Yeah,
That is going good. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that supposed to be the new train station? Uh, that's where they were going to put it, I think. Any more? I think some homeless people do, I've heard, you know, they, they start fires in there with like a barrel or whatever. Well, that's what it could be. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we can go find a yeah. station.
actually that's district one. Actually, is. Uh, I put in a working fire. Just put in a working fire. Take him in. What? Just put in a working fire. Just take him in. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Right down there at North Main and Main. Yep. Disregard all that because Wiley said that he is supposed to stay there now. He's like, you just get the train because Mark said just yeah, stay there and you'll get there. You get there. Are, are you doing anything down there? Not really, just watching it. I'll just go somewhere. He's like, well, I don't want to piss him off. I'm like, dude, Trinity and I are sitting here if you need to go to class. Yeah.
you have a job? No. I'm sick and I have a I have a cop right here right now. You need ambulance? No. No. Huh. Not at all. all right. so. What's up? He just I guess he's out of his office. Are you trying to reach Dr. P's office? Yes. yes. You're Nicole. David are together, correct? Yes. You guys are homeless, correct? Where did you guys stay last night? Uh, right, right there. there. You... Where's over there? Uh, On the bench? Yeah. Excuse me. Table. No, no. Right there, he has there. to talk. The church. The, the um. St. Pat's? Next no, to the not church. Safe. No, no, no. Hold on. Here, take your phone. Um, so I can deal with him first because he's more important. Yeah, yeah. What time is that? I mean, where did you, you guys stay? Um. Oh, the sorry. street on St. Patrick's Church. Yeah, Pearl Street. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's mine. In the little cove. Yours is Oh, okay. Yeah. Nicole, what's your date of birth? Because I'm just making sure there's people that are homeless that we have accounted for that we know where everybody is. I spoke to Shane, I spoke to Blake. I want to make sure nobody was in that building because it burnt down. I want to make sure everyone's safe. That's oh, all. No, no, no. Oh, that. Oh, never. No, I'm not saying you guys are there or involved. I'm just, we're trying to account for everybody. So I'm just checking right. off everybody I, I know that's been out on the streets lately. That's, that's all. No big deal. First thing that came to mind after just, I. Dave, you have Dakota? I have not. I have Dakota. I don't know where Have you seen them today at all? Have I seen yeah. Kevin at Dakota? Yeah. Not no. today. Uh, All right. Zip, zip, I haven't seen Shane, Blake. I, I just spoke to Blake. I just spoke to, I just spoke to J, uh, Pete. They probably have the high I just spoke. I just spoke to them. <laughs> All right. Thank okay, you. Have a good one. By the way, I'm Brendan. Nice I just, to meet you. I just moved into town. Where do you live? I live right on church. <laughs> right. Where yeah. you live. But, cool. you know, I, I, I knew who I'm talking with so and stuff like that. All right. But I'm, uh, I'm trying to make, make good where'd signs. Where would you, you move from? Hebron. Hebron. Yep. How'd you come to Enfield from Hebron? I work. All right. I work at FedEx. Okay. Yeah. And Windsor Locks? Yep. Cool. Yep. All right. Welcome to town. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, is this that um, vacant one that's been there for a while? Yeah, the one they were gonna make the uh, train building. Uh, the coffin building? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I can't miss it. This uh, this screams arson. Oh yeah. Yeah, this building has been here for like 13 years, and nothing's ever happened to it. Um, so, I know you guys got it blocked off, but just keep guys in mind, um, position their cruisers so they can catch stuff. Um, I just saw Zach, what's his name, uh, that works at the, uh, TiVo Mart walking away, and, um, what is this person doing? Probably have you stayed over here, Brian. That way you don't get blocked in down there. Um, I saw Kevin earlier at 8.20 when we were dealing with that, uh, throwing car. Okay.
Kevin Maynard? Does he hang out over there? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I would look for anyone who you know does dumb stuff and is out at this time in the morning because... Yep. So, a lot of people looking around, but... Yeah, anybody on yeah. foot, because this looks like an arson. There's there's no way that this place just went up like that. Yeah, it's been sitting there for 20 years vacant, no problem, and the guy that called it in they thought they saw a barrel fire. So. A barrel fire? Yeah, right. Yeah, barrel fire is not going to do that. Here. No. Yeah. Somebody must have doused that thing with an accelerant or something. Yep. So that's... We'll probably end up having to stay out here. Um, and who does our arson stuff down there? DB. Uh, I don't know who. Maybe Jensen? For some reason I thought it was Gary, because it used to be Cooper, and then... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think it is Gary. Gary went to that, uh, that class. Yep. I'm driving around looking for, uh... Is that Scott? Yeah, it's Scott. I'm getting pictures. Um... Yeah, everybody's out here, but, uh... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think Gary does it. And it's too late now. I don't think a dog's going to do anything tracking from the scene. Too no, late, too late no, for at that. this point, it's uh, wet fire knocking down. And uh, we do our investigation after, so. Yeah, that, dude, that's bananas. Oh, yeah. Someone it's set this place one. on fire. Okay. All right, well, so. I had the camera rolling to catch, uh, what's his name, Zach. Leaving the area on a, on a cell phone, but I'll keep my eyes out. Yep, I got Wiley on the north side of North River, and then Dolphins here at the south side, so. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I'll stick around until like 6.40. Yep. Uh, that way you have someone else if you need them. Okay. All right, I'm Great over you. Yeah, I'm over at Bigelow. Okay. All right, see you. Anybody else in the area look interesting? Let's uh, block down there. Did you, you didn't see anyone running, did you? No, I called it in. Blue okay. Down. Sit down, buddy. Hi. All right. Hi. Let's sit down, buddy. Yeah, yeah it was, it's amazing how fast these things spread. Yeah. It was in the second window. It was sit down, buddy. It was in the second window on the, I don't even know, third, second floor, second one down. Yep. And it was in the corner. I thought there were some homeless people burning, you know, staying yep. warm. You didn't see anyone running out, though, didn't did you? didn't see anyone running out, but then it just kept getting bigger and bigger. It's only been five minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's sweet in the wrong But yeah, I, I know there was a fire in the apartment complex, so I don't know what's going on. Ooh, that's Real quick, just in case we need to contact you. Yeah. Uh, first name? Alex. Or Alexander. A L E X. A N D E R. Yeah, A N D E R. Last name? Uh, Sorensen. S O R E N S O N. E N S O N. Yeah. Date of birth? Uh, 12 27 1990. And phone number for you? 646 826 3595. And. I live, yeah, I live in 27 or 20, 2149 Bigelow County. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Good luck with it. Yeah, see ya. Tim, you want to block down like north? And
You want to block that tunnel, basically? Stop any, like, gawkers from going down? I'm gonna go actually onto South River and block mm -hmm. from that side so no one can come from the south to north. She's full rip. What? That's insane. Dude, he's like, yeah, I saw like a barrel and then five minutes later it was gone. It was off. fire, thought some homeless people were in there, and then within five minutes it got to this. When uh, when me and Tim were down here for the noise complaint, yep. someone walked up, he's like, yeah, I think I saw like a little like barrel fire in there. We looked around, there was nothing showing from where he said. I came down here, all the doors looked secure. Yeah, the only thing I found open was a uh, second floor window on yep. the north side. So maybe they're going in through a window? That was shot. What was that? I said, you think it was shot? You yeah. think somebody did it? I don't it might, It's more than likely an accident. Yeah. Maybe somebody that almost could lived inside. You know, yeah, know. something like that. That was the old coffin building years ago. Yeah, I heard. I was born right up here. I used to be a fireman over here. Years At uh, Thompsonville? Yeah. We used to get $100 every six months. Volunteer? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. That way you don't get blocked in down there. Yeah, no, there's a that fence there. I have his contact information. This is the building that they were going to convert? Yeah, the Castle Company. This is our train station? Not anymore. It's an inside job. Have you guys had a lot of, of homeless people walking in here? We haven't had any calls recently. Remember what he looked like? One of them was blonde with shaggy hair. Okay. The other one had black hair. I'll be I'll be talking with Scott. Yep. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Gives them space to work. Yeah, 
my breakfast, that's all. 24. Okay. Yeah, so I, they're good to be here, they just, not this side of the road. Okay. Well, he's Hartford, did this many years. <laughs> Who kicked my camera on? Somebody did. Did you find a tent for that call? I was just going to ask if I can use one of the uh, late cars there leaving the fire. S40 from S43. You can take your tent first. And then. Number 90, Phoenix Avenue. Oh, they show up, they all show up at once, huh? Yeah, yeah. Can I just bit? A little bit, Gary. A little bit. You can leave them out. Uh, no, I had time to go anyways. Yeah. You're James, right? Yeah. James, I met you a couple weeks ago on oh, Detective yeah, yeah. Castle. I came with the fire and Yeah. I didn't know if you got my messages yesterday. Oh, no. no my I, phone I, was acting up yesterday. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions about the fire? Sure. Would you be okay to take a written statement from you also? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, the morning that you first saw the fire, um, which which side of the building were you on? The mill the mill building. Which side were you on? Um, I was over by the pool in Bigelow. Between Bigelow and the the tracks in the building. No, in actually in Bigelow, I was the Bigelow, the apartments here, the pool right here. I was on that sidewalk going up between the pool and the apartments, and I looked back and was looking directly at the tracks okay. in that side of the building. And and you could originally you could see flames, in only thing I can see because I couldn't see even I couldn't even see an like an out, okay, you know an outline of the building or a shadow of the building I could just see a flame that's why I was thinking it was kind of weird you know. Now if I remember correctly what you you said to the fire marshal I was with him when you spoke to him, mm -hmm. could you see from the floor flames on the floor up or was it in in something and then you could only see the. Like from the waist up or higher? From what it looked like to me is it looked like I was looking in a window probably like this off the floor. Okay. So being back here, I saw the flames were set back maybe six, eight feet. Okay. And they were probably... I could probably see it started here, but I could see a couple of little holes with fire burning through them too. So it looked like maybe there was a barrel or something in there. I don't know. It could have been just the way I could see. Because like I said, all I could see was like the outline of the brick around the window and the fire inside. Okay. You know? And then I heard the slamming of plywood and everything disappeared. But I could see the, the flame through the crack in the wall uh -huh. where they were trying to hide. I think they saw me looking in there. Okay. Uh, Did you see anybody in there? Could, could you count the I people you saw see, in there? No. No. Um, when the board went up against the window, I heard another noise, and then I saw the the flame disappeared behind the board. And then the board came down. And that's when I saw a LED flashlight moving around in there. Okay. So I'm curious about the noise that you heard. Um, <clears throat> now you you I heard you say that it was like wood going up against the window. Did you actually see wood being placed against the window? No. No, no. It just sounded like they were. It sounded like you know, like a piece of plywood being slammed up against a brick to hide the, the opening. Okay. Could it have been something other than a piece of wood? It could have. Um, the the noise it made, I wouldn't say it was anything like metal or anything like that. But maybe, I mean, maybe a sheet of plastic, you know, like a thick piece of fiberglass or something like that. But <clears throat> okay. Just, uh, it, it sounded like, I, the reason I said plywood is because it sounded like plywood hitting bricks. You know, it had that kind of a, a tone, you know. Okay. So, you, you said you could see fire from from a certain height up, and below that you could see what appeared to be holes and like... 
Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was the, the fire. I could see clearly. Everything else was kind of like that. Like I was kind of like having to look away, trying to catch it out. You know. Okay. Looking into the dark, so, and it kind of looked like it might have been in like a burn barrel or something like that. You, know, you see like bullet holes or peeing holes in a in a barrel at night. You can see the fire coming oh, through the little hole. Go ask him. He needs to. But um, like I said too, I mean, it could have just been my eyes playing tricks in the dark and all that. Well, the fire definitely. There was definitely. Well, like I said, too, the window came up here, so now that I'm thinking, it's kind of hard to remember if I saw it maybe just from here up or if it was away. It was a big fire, though, so, I mean, so it came to, like, here at least. That's why I mentioned right. it. It didn't look like somebody was just, you know, having a little... Right, so what I'm wondering is... Um, So you, you weren't sure about the people that were in there. You, you saw the fire. <clears throat> um, the the noise, you described the noise. Now, you, you said maybe a barrel uh, of some kind, like maybe a burn barrel. Not interested? No, I just don't recycle them. Um, yeah, I mean, that's I, I kind of assumed that because of the fact that it was in an open room and the fire was that high. It had to be in something to, well, you know, right. you know and then, somebody would light a fire that high, that big on, off the floor, you know. So. Okay, and then, and then suddenly you couldn't see it anymore. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I stood there for a couple of minutes looking, and I was right under, you know, under the light, right at the corner where you start walking up that sidewalk. So, oh, okay, I was like well visible. So, if it was some sort of a barrel, could the noise you have heard been something covering the top of the barrel? I think they did that too. What do you mean? Uh, once the window got covered, I think that they put something over the barrel, and that's how it got. They got it out so fast. Is that one of the noises that you think you might I have think heard? So, yeah. I mean, it could have been that, something going over the barrel and not, you know, and I didn't hear that actually hitting the window. They definitely covered the window with something. Yeah. Um, it could have been both. I mean, uh, now, thinking back, it's it's kind of foggy, but it's, I mean, it's clear, but it's not. I mean, right, the little right. details it's, are starting to get a little foggy, but right. definitely heard a noise, like, Sounded like something going like that against the window. Against That's when the everything window? disappeared. And then, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard something else go over the over the fire. Another noise, and then the fire kind of like sort of cracks. I could see the fire gone. Okay. And then, uh, like I said, nothing. And all of a sudden, the window was open again because I saw the flashlight. Okay. And all across back and forth. So. And I, I don't want to <laughs> confuse you. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but I just want to be clear. Um, because I don't want to put any words in your mouth either. Yeah. But so the noise that you heard, you definitely heard something going over the window. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. And uh, you heard a second noise because you said earlier that it didn't sound like metal. It was definitely wood or plastic or fiberglass. Yeah. Could the second noise you heard is would that have been something covering what you described as a burn I think barrel? So because the the fire went out so fast, it had to have been. That noise had to have been something going on with them putting it out. Okay, so <clears throat> describe to me what you what a burn barrel is. Um, is it like a fifty uh, gallon? The old day, yeah, old is like a drum gallon or drum. A trash I mean, I can. I see them back in the farm in the old days. You know, the grandfather had the garbage went out, but you know, like a fifty-five gallon drum or a half of one. I mean, we use um, wash tubs. Right, from right. The washing machine. <clears throat> so I mean anything that's you know okay. that separates the uh, the ground from the fire. Okay. Um, it's cylindrical. Right, and and those we we agree that it's probably metal, like a, a fifty-five gallon drum or a half of a drum or a trash can. Yeah, or anything imagine. like that. I mean to have a fire in a in, in a building like that, you know, it's, I would say they would have to. Have well, you mentioned earlier that it didn't sound like metal. It, but, no, I mean, it didn't, but, but it, could, that, it could have been an old rotted barrel, you know, an old rusty barrel, and it would have been, his tone would have sounded, you know, it would have been different, so, I mean. <clears throat> okay, so if, if, if like I'm saying, if a 55-gallon if a drum or a regular trash can had a lid on it, does that sound, would that be like noise, metal yeah. covering the, the noise that? Yeah. 
could have been, yeah. Again, I'm not trying to put ideas in your yeah, head, but thinking Yeah, and I mean, back, anything that went on inside is just speculation at this right, point, right, right. because I couldn't see, but I mean, I was kind of like putting things together in my head as I was watching it, so that's why I kind of tried to, try to remember everything that I was... <clears throat> okay.